Hi, it's me, Felicia, um, posting an updated video. Um, I made a short one a few days ago, but I said I was going to get another one on there with a um, little longer video. Um, I'm three months out from my um, tummy tuck. I'm still healing. Um, I do have that hard spot in my belly that um, Dr. Danick is going to remove his scar tissue, but it's like a really bad lump of scar tissue. Um, other than that, he said that I was healing beautifully. Um, again, three months out. I have a little swelling in the lower part of my abdomen, um, but that's normal. Um, actually, I've heard you to be swollen anywhere from six months to a year, so just have swelling in the bottom is pretty good. I'm going to do a um, full body shot as well as um, show you my um, scars from my tummy duck. Um, making this video in the hallway because I seem to have much better lighting, um, which is good, and the sound is good too. So, on that note, um, I'm getting ready for the day. I'm doing all the laundry. I started back to the gym a couple of days ago. Yay! I haven't been there in three months. Um, it felt good. I'm a little sore under the arms though because I'm really working on this area here because um, it's really irritating to know that if all that extraness wasn't there my arms would be quite small. Um, finding that my body was not supposed to be as big as it was. Um, I always hollered I was big boned and I think a lot of overweight people say that. I am broad though. I won't say big bone but I am broad. Um, especially in the hips and on my sides, right under my waistline. And I measured my waistline the other day, and it's like a 33. Um, it used to be 56. So that's pretty good. I'm proud of myself. Um, it's a lot of hard work, but I stay determined. Um, I have good days. I have great days. I have awesome days but also have bad days. Um, I find sometimes now that I have a lot of craving for junk food, which is not good. So I'm trying to pull away from that. Um, I think though in the last few months it's been uh, grief related because I had lost family members. Um, they've been going through a lot since just like January, but um, it's getting better. I have a new boyfriend. Well, I'm gonna say he's my male friend, not my boyfriend. But we spend a lot of time together. He makes me smile. And he doesn't stop complimenting me. And we went to high school together. Um, Southwestern. Um, now, the funny thing is, he tells me that even if I was still big, he would still like me because I'm cute. So that makes me feel good, too. Um, you know, sometimes when you gain a lot of weight, you have very low self-esteem. Although I hit it well a lot of the time, a lot of people, I guess, didn't really know that unless I said something about it, and I didn't do that often. So, um, and also, I go for my pre-testing pre with my uh, surgeon next week on the 11th, and then I am going to have my breast reduction on the 26th of this month. So um, I did push that back. I was supposed to have it like six weeks after I had my tummy tuck, but I wanted to do some healing. But anyway, uh, moving along, I got the camera up a little high. I'm going to move it down some so that um, you guys can see me better than what it is that I want you to see. Um, you won't see much of the top part of me because um, I'm on my laptop. but. And yes, I have on the bra, but in order for you to get a good view, I have to do it this way. Um, but anyway, this is me with my little uh, waist center that I wear. Um, the height is not good for me, but anyway, I wear this or something like this every day. Just to still hold me in because my compression garment got a little big and it wasn't doing anything for me. So, um, like I said, I'm brought down here, which is just the way I'm built. Um, 
I want to take this up. And then I want to move in a little closer so that you can see. And this is going to make me have a little roll because it's so tight when I'm moving it up. But anyway, um, this is me three months out. This is my scar my, from my breastbone all the way down. Um, again, he said it's feeling well. Um, it's kind of blending in with my skin tone. Uh, if you can see that. Okay. Now, um, under here is where the other incision was. Let's see. Yeah, you know, this camera stuff just right. I'm trying to do that for you. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is where I'm broad at, and I need to work on this a little more. Um, but it doesn't affect me as much as all that belly did that I had hanging down here over the top part of my private area. I don't have that anymore. Um, these are my incisions on the side. I don't know how well you can see, but it's kind of blending in quite well with my skin. Still healing every day. The one under, I'm kind of dark down there, period. I don't know where that came from, but I guess I couldn't see it before, so it could have came from a lot of moisture. Now, on this side, you can see, if I lean, you can see it real good. How well that is healing. Um, but I'm quite proud of it. Um, I wear like a well because of my hips I have to actually buy twelves and clothes. I'm smaller than that. But ta da this is what's going on now. So I do have a waistline. Um and I'm gonna work real hard to get me a twenty eight pack. Although every time I say that people laugh. So really, I know it's a six pack. Um, so I'm gonna get that together and get that in order. Back up to the base. There we go. So, been in the gym for the last couple of days. I've been hitting it hard. I have or I have an appointment with some personal trainer tomorrow. I actually had got this guy that was supposed to be a personal trainer, and me and my friend went to him last week. We sat down with him and his lovely wife. And we were supposed to start this past Monday. Monday, I get a text from him saying, due to domestic complications, I will not be able to train the opposite sex. So on that note, my friend said she noticed that when me and his wife were sitting on the couch together, how she was looking at me and looking over at her. But I feel like it's, it's business. I don't want your man. I'm coming to him for a service that was offered. Um, and the killer is you're supposed to be there with us. So I don't I don't get that, but whatever. Um, he was not my type at all. And again, I don't mess with married men. Um, I try my best not to help anyone cheat on their significant other because it's been done to me. Did not like it. Just did not like it. So, you know, I try my best to let a person know when I first meet them. I don't do that. If you have a woman, girlfriend, good friend, wife, baby mama, any of that, and that's the person that you're, you're dating or seeing on the side or whatever it is, you do that, it's not for me. But anyway, I went on and signed up. You know, I have been going to Planet Fitness uh, for over a year, and I um, went to LA Fitness because I paid $9 more, and they have a lot more. They have the pool, racquetball, indoor basketball, kickboxing, boxing, uh, Zamba, Zumba, whatever you call it, um, hip-hop aerobics, Pilates. They have a lot of stuff um, for them that extra dollars a month, including a jacuzzi, a sauna, all those things I can use right now. Um, I have a goal for myself. I'm at between 203 and 208, typically. It's killing me to get down to this 199 I don't know what the problem is, but maybe because I haven't got back into the gym, I'll see that before my 42nd birthday, which is September the 5th. Um, I found the dress I want to wear already. Um, and I went and got some shoes. And I just tried them more. Well, I was about to try them on last night and come to find out one is, a, one is an 8 and one is a 10. 
go figure. I don't know how that happened, but, um, and I don't recall them having any more of those shoes when I went, uh, yesterday. I didn't see any more. So, I'm going to be really pissed off if I can't find fucking shit. Excuse my language. But anyway, um, just a quick video. It's 10 minutes I've given you guys. And I really have to get ready to, um, get dressed and get out of here. Because I have a lot of things to do with Saturday. It's supposed to be like 98 today. We've had all this hot weather, weather for the last week. And it's killing me. I hate summer. I know some people are going to get mad about that, but I just, I prefer winter, spring, and fall. I don't like being hot. And even though I've lost 137 pounds, I still don't like all this warm weather. It's irritating and aggravating to me. Plus, it messes up my hair. Um, yes, I'm rocking the new short hairdo. Yes, I am. I quite like it. Um, I had a little blonde in the top a couple of weeks ago, and I like ball black. It, um, uh, makes me feel sophisticated. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's it. Have a good day. Have a good Saturday. The rest of your weekend. Enjoy. Be blessed.